various tourist organizations. Over here on this topic, we will discuss what are the various national or state organizations who are responsible for the upliftment and development of the tourism industry at the various areas. First, we need to discuss about what is the need of organization. For an industry, an organization is a must as it plays a vital role in its planning, development and growth. The organization consists of individuals whose primary role is the achievement of the objectives for which it has been set up. In the aspect of tourism, why is there any importance of organizational phenomena is not a difficult thing to find out. In fact, tourism is an collectivization of the various aspects which not only confine themselves with their own territory but has to be concerned themselves with the outside world as well. Therefore, when a, when a thing has a broad sense to be connected with the affairs of the outside world in order to achieve the significance, it needs the formation of an organization, the institution which should be secular in approach, the development in terms of every aspect of tourism that is economical, social, industrial aspects of tourism all depends directly on this organization. It relates to the structure of the industry and is concerned with the issues involved and the approaches to it. In case of industry, organization has to devote many fold success of its different branches. These objectives may be of three major fold. First, attraction, for example, climate, scenery, historical and cultural features, the accessibility, that means how one can reach that particular destination is known as the role of accessibility. For example, the distance of destination, their location and the transportation facilities. Amenities means what all facilities are available in terms to accommodate the people reaching there for the tourism purpose. Accommodation, catering and other entertainment facilities. also can make a success of the tourist destination. The organization of tourism may fall into two parts. First, there are sectors of tourism, that is, the various providers of tourist services, the hotel catering services, the transport services and the entertainment services. Secondly, there are the levels of the tourist organization. We have the nationals, regionals, locals and international. The organization of tourist industry in any region varies considerably due to the nature of the organizational setup. As far as state is concerned, state organizes that tourism is a basic and most desirable human activity and deserves all encouragements and supports by the government. Its various agencies, the trade and the other connected interests. So, in order to manage the organization and to promote this smokeless industry by the help of the organization, any level of tourism should have some objectives. The objectives are not policies as these later things are subjected to change. As far as state is concerned, the state recognizes that tourism is a basic and most desirable human activity and deserves all encouragements and supports by the government, its various agencies, the trade and the other con connected interests. 
So, in order to manage the organization and to promote this smokeless industry by the help of the organization, any level of tourism should have some objectives. The objectives are not policies as these later things are subjected to change. The objectives are permanent things without which the backbone of tourism can never be strengthened. For example, in Madhya Pradesh, most of the area are travel dominated. The Chhattisgarh Plateau, the Bundelkhand and the Malwa region, the Bastar district are all tribal dominated. The rich cultural heritage, the tribal folk, dances and the folk art are the focal point for the tourism development in Madhya Pradesh. So while taking any step to achieve tourism promotion in these areas, one should have the major objectives which should not hinder the cultural heritage of these areas. The objective of tourism in state category falls in these following things. First, first to promote the social, cultural, educational impact of tourism among the people. These things leads to national integration and international goodwill. Second, to convince the people of their right to freedom of movement within the country and outside the country as well. In this aspect, it also declares that all the necessary steps should be taken to facilitate the entry, exit and stay of tourists in the country, whether local or foreign. To enhance the economic objective which promotes and strengthens the economy of the country. To awaken public consciousness about tourism advantages and to take necessary measures. Mitigate and eliminate any adverse impact on tourism may cause any field. To take major steps to provide appropriate infrastructural facilities. To stimulate the domestic, regional and international tourism. To make the people conscious of the employment potential of the tourist industry. To give the public and private sectors technical and financial assistance in regards to the development of the tourist resources. To call for special assistance and attention to the colorful tribal areas. To promote the college and art and handicraft industry. To act as a catalyst and coordinate between international and national tourist organizations. These aims and objectives of the organizational motives and in the process of these organizational works, these motives can easily be carried out, whether the interest is concerned with the total nation or the states without a proper organization work. These vast network of system can never be carried out. Tourism is a large dimensional body with the importance attached to every minor aspect of it. For example, there are many a number of major tourist spots even surpass the major ones. Secondly, the main aspect of tourism development is associated with the discovery of unknown buried heart beautiful spots which are yet to be tracked out. So the development of any area is sometimes directly attached 
to the findings made by the tourist departments and proper implementation of these findings and its system work out can also be possible by the efforts of tourism department at the lowest level so organizational form has got its vital role in this regards organization is to deploy staff into working groups associating those with similar functions or purpose so as to move efficiently to obtain a desired result from their combined efforts in or in other words the organization means combination of a group of individual whose main purpose is to achieve through the group action the objective of which it has been set up The organization of tourism is complex and involves literally hundreds of divisions and units. This starts with the National Tourist Organization followed by the various other private organization NTO. NTO is the body responsible for the formulation and implementation of national tourist policy in India. Almost All the countries have tourist organization the status powers responsibilities and resources vary a great duel from country to country depending upon the number of conditioning factors especially the differing potential and constitutional structures but now with the increasing flow of tourist traffic in recent years the study area has been playing an active role it is through the process of liaison with many government department for example home external finance planning health the development of the tourism can be achieved National Tourism Organization (NTO) has its own branch offices established to correlate the main organization with the local travel agencies, trade, and tourist agencies. Prior to the function of the separate organization, tourism was the part of the Transport Ministry, but by the end of 1946, it was due to Sir John Sargent. the then educational advisor to the government of india a recommendation was made for the setup of a separate tourist organization at the center with the regional offices at the metropolitan centers namely delhi kolkata bombay and madras by 1955-56 a proposal for the creation of a director journal of tourism dgt was proposed in order to have policy making discussions another important step during this time was the opening of a chain of tourist offices both in india and abroad apart from the tourist regional offices at all the four metropolitan centers of india a number of information offices were opened to mobilize the association the duties of the regional tourist officers included liaison with the state governments the local tourist agencies the railway authorities airlines shipping agencies and hotels 
the duties of the officers were to look after the tourist interest to assist the ministry of transport in the preparation and distribution of publicity material to improve the facilities for the tourist in terms of accommodation transportation sightseeing and in other means of communications order to establish liaison with various ministries and coordinate various activities pertaining to tourism the department is represented on the following committees or the advisory boards civil aviation department fund committee advisory committee on the indian airlines indian board for wildlife central advisory board of archaeology aerodrome planning group Hotel Industry Study Group Ad hoc committees to review rules regarding protection of monuments Central Post and Telegraph Advisory Council ITDC Indian Tourism Development Corporation So this department has got a chain of relationship with all the departments starting from the hotel group aviation centers up to with the archaeological departments from a small beginning in the year 1949 The tourist organization in Madhya Pradesh has grown tremendously. Ad hoc committee to review the rules regarding protection of monuments. Central Post and Telegraph Advisory Council, ITTC, Indian Tourism Development Corporation. So, this department has got a chain of relationship with all the dep- departments, starting from the hotel groups, aviation centers, up to with the archaeological department from a small beginning in the year 1949. the tourist organization in madhya pradesh has grown tremendously on the screen you can see the various organizational chart of the department of tourism in the madhya pradesh starting from the deputy minister then the secretary then the director general then the additional director general director general deputy director general deputy director general then we have the hotels the publicity promotion and trainings the travel trade hospitality the planning programs the accommodation and wildlife the tourist admission the market research the financial administration and the travel statistics besides these personnel there are number of subordinate officers as accountants clerks and others who work sensibly to promote the growth of the organization apart from these official setup in the corporation tourist officers have been employed in every regional centers such as railway stations nodal centers of each city who provides first hand information about the tourist spots and help in providing the vital information about every aspect of tourism such as transport fare accommodation etc the role of ITDC in india planning and marketing of tourist product is handled at three different levels the highest level is the central department of tourism the next level is the ITDC an autonomous body and the third level is that of the states according to the jha committee in 1963 which proposed that public sector should assume a more active and positive role in promoting tourism there were three tier system to set up in the tourism department 
होटल कॉपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया लिमिटेड इंडियन टूरिज्म कॉपोरेशन लिमिटेड एंड इंडियन टूरिज्म ट्रांसपोर्ट अंडरटेकिंग लिमिटेड लेटर ऑन लेटर ऑन इन 1966 दीस थ्री कॉर्पोरेशन वर मर्ज इनटू वन कंपोजिट अंडरटेकिंग इन द नेम ऑफ इंडियन टूरिज्म डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन लिमिटेड आईटीडीसी दिस अंडरटेकिंग वाज एन amalgamation of the aims and objectives of all these above cooperation this company came into being with effect from march 28 1970